got a call from Todd when he bought this house and he wanted to build this wine cellar and gave us a call. We came out and took a look. He had this pantry in his kitchen that he wanted to convert into this wine cellar. So uh, we came in and we uh, tore off all the drywall inside the room and we used spray foam insulation and sprayed the whole thing with insulation. So you have to have a vapor barrier. And that's what's nice about the spray foam is it creates a very vapor barrier as well as the R value. And also the spray foam makes it very, very quiet. So from the get go, we recommend a spray foam to just eliminate any problems in the future. And heaven forbid, microbial growth is our worst nightmare. Oh, we re drywalled the room, painted it, put in some lighting and that's called rope lighting uh, that you see there that does that display area there. And uh, anytime you have that type of uh, display, you're going to have a rope lighting that's put up in the corner there that illuminates that. We recommend that you always use a surface mount lighting system. Can lighting can actually drip water into your cellar. Think about it. You have a can that goes up into the attic and uh, you, you can't spray foam the top of that can because it, it's designed to dissipate heat. So here you have a can in an 80, 90, 100 plus in the summertime and a 55 degree environment there. Uh, it creates an environment where it can sweat and drip water into your cellar. So never use a can light in a wine cellar. Always use a surface mount. And remember, it's an inert environment. It's designed to be sealed. It's not something that needs any type of ventilation whatsoever. You want it to be completely sealed, airtight to the best of your capability. And a can light is a hole in the boat. The LED lighting is the best way to go. And they make some really cool stuff these days. So it comes in a roll like tape and it'll change colors and everything. 